stand it. Um, I don't have nearly enough makeup on that I normally like to wear. So I put on cat ears, glittery cat ears to be able to talk candid with you um, right now. Um, so, you know, I, you know, this is my first vlog and one of the first vlogs of doing this is kind of trying to give a little bit more of a, uh, I guess, candid version of what I do as someone who's a writer, someone who's really into horror, who writes horror, who watches horror, who dives into horror, who lives this kind of horror filled and not always like terrifying bad stuff horror filled kind of existence in terms of the genre, the community. Okay, so it's that time of year where we are now going to look at some costume stuff. I already have my costume in mind. Caitlin has her costume in mind. Yeah. So I'm just, you know, before I leave out of town or whatever, wanting to kind of get it before these stores, we're going to Spirit Store, before they start looking a mess because everyone's in there just like at the last minute grabbing everything, so. Turns to chaos. I think we're going to the first <laughs> Spirit Store that's open in Los Angeles. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Others are supposed to be opening, hopefully. They're not still unboxing stuff, so. I think that's what they were doing last year when we showed up. We were yeah, like the they were just people. like, what, what? And but we you like, gotta get there early. And... The hustle's real, you know what I'm saying? Step right up, step right up here. You'll do nicely, very tasty, healthy. <laughs> Cut it! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Getting ready for Halloween. And that means Halloween decorations. That's my cat back there. Oh yeah. Um, so this one is really cool. We got the spooky phone. It talks. I don't wanna turn it on right now because my cats are gonna freak out. But it talks and it's really cool the way it talks. So that's cool. Got the warning, do not feed the zombies thing. Got this from a 99 cent store. That's what's up. Cheap. I like it. More. The movie wall. More that. Hello, Freddy. That, that's all. This is evergreen stuff, actually. This stuff is just always up. But still, whatever. And then our alcohol. Can't show you too many labels. I don't know how that works. Can I show labels? Whatever. Anyway, um, yeah. So I got this. <laughs> Magic Voodoo. Kathy's my middle name, so I thought it was perfect. Yes. Yes. There's nothing in there. Yet. Whoa. Look at that. She's so stylish. Hard life. Okay, so we are going to see the nun tonight. Unfortunately. I made her come. So I'm about to start drinking. She's a great best friend. I said know. I'd watch it. I didn't say I'd be sober. Yeah, so, so. she's got alcohol. Still waiting in line. No nuns have showed up. No nuns have showed up. She means I haven't punched anybody. She's got her makeshift flask. Has Mickey Mouse on it. I don't know how I feel about that. Even though there's alcohol inside. It's holy water. To protect me. Sure. <laughs> okay, so we just got out of the nun and I liked it. I liked it. It's okay. I don't think it was better than Annabelle Creation, like if we're talking about the Conjuring um, universe. Yeah, Annabelle Creation was definitely scarier. The yeah, Annabelle creation was scarier. The Conjuring was probably better structured overall. I think yeah. this one was one of those like, this is a really good like ghost story. You this know what I mean? It had a lot of exposition, just like almost constant exposition until like the last 20 minutes. That's one thing I noticed. And there were a lot of nuts. A lot of nuts. A lot of. So I am out here early for a friend who is. <clears throat> wanting to film a short video uh in the cemetery true horror life right now um it's a scene i think it's the the death of a of a certain movie um thing 
that people may know about that's been going, I guess, supposedly down the tubes. I think it's a movie pass or whatever. So um, we're not supposed to be here filming. So we, they've been looking out for security and I'm supposed to be fake crying in the scene. Uh, but yeah, um, that's what I'm doing on a Thursday morning here in the cemetery being a fake mourner because this is Los Angeles. My life, my horror, my screen queen life. Because you know, being a screen queen, it's not just when you're in a movie. I think being a screen queen is basically being a final girl is being a survivor of life.